What do you take from the fact that Ben Roethlisberger reached out to Le'Veon and Le'Veon did not respond? It was a formality. Look, I, I, the question I would like to ask is how long have you been reaching out? Have you checked in on Le'Veon Bell throughout this whole process? Did you stand up for Le'Veon Bell in the media when it seems like the rest of your teammates turned their back on him and was talking about him and his personal things? Here's the issue with me, G. I think this was Le'Veon's plan all along. Now, we can talk about finding a formality in the CBA and him not returning because of that. But at the end of the day, Le'Veon knew he wasn't welcomed with the Steelers anymore. He knew everything that had transpired because of the decision he was making for his future and what all his team... Nobody affects you like the guys in the locker room. And the guys in that locker room told Le'Veon Bell, you basically are not welcome here anymore. And the dynamics on this shifted all along. Because if you remember, when they didn't get a long-term deal done in mid-July, he came out and tweeted, this is going to be my best season yet. So he was planning to play at that point in time. Later on, he told Jeremy Fowler that he was going to be coming in between weeks 7 and 8, I believe. Never showed up. So what happened here? So what happened here is that you had teammates talking about yes. it, saying derogatory things, we're moving on, didn't feel wanted, team open to trading him. There were a lot of different emotional components to this that went beyond the finances of it. 